Welcome to Electron Online. In our next example here, we're going to try and turn a product into a sum. So we're going to use an identity to change something in this structure into a sum or a difference of sines and cosines. Now, since the cosine has a larger angle, 3x versus the sine, and this is a product, we can probably use the following identity. We can say that the sine of a minus the sine of b is equal to 2 times the cosine of a plus b divided by 2 times the sine of a minus b divided by 2. And maybe putting parentheses there might help, so those are the angles. Notice that whatever a and b are, this will be bigger than this, which seems to be appropriate over here. On top of that, notice that the cosine is written second, the sine is written first. I'm going to reverse those. So I'm going to write that the sine of A minus the sine of B is equal to 2 times the sine of A minus B divided by 2 times the cosine of A plus B divided by 2. So now I have this in the exact same format as that. Now I don't have the 2 there, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So if I divide by 2 here and divide by 2 there, I get this instead. Oh, and I better put parentheses around it like that. All right, so now I can somehow change this into this. Now I can say that a minus b divided by 2 should be equal to 2, and a plus b divided by 2 should be equal to 3, and then I can solve for a and b and then write it in that form. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can say that a minus b divided by 2 is equal to 2, and a plus b divided by 2 is equal to 3. Now this should allow me to solve for a and b. So I want to set those two equal to each other. And let's see how can I do that. Well, first of all, I can multiply this equation by 3 and that equation by 2 and see what I'm going to do here. So multiply both sides by 3, I get a minus b divided by 2 multiplied times 3 is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. I'm going to multiply both sides over here by 2, so I can write 2 times a plus b divided by 2 is equal to 6. So I multiply this times 2 and multiply the right side by 2, multiply this side by 3, the right side by 3. Now you can see that they're both equal to 6. I can now set them equal to each other. And of course, this cancels out, so I can write that 3 halves a minus b is equal to uh, a plus b. All right, now I can solve for a in terms of b. So here I can say that uh, 3 over 2a minus 3 over 2b is equal to a plus b. I can now move my a across here, so I have 3 over 2a. As a matter of fact, it's probably better to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the uh, fraction. So multiply both sides by 2, I get 3a minus 3b is equal to 2a plus 2b. Now I move all the a's to one side, all the b's to the other side, so I have 3a minus 2a is equal to 2b plus 3b. And then finally I can say that 3a minus 2a, which is a, is equal to 2b plus 3b, which is equal to 5b. So now I know that a is 5 times b. All right. Now coming back over here, Realizing, of course, that a plus b divided by 2 is equal to 2, and a minus b divided by 2 is equal to 3, and notice that a is 5b. So what I can do is I can take my angle here, I can say, well, a plus b divided by 2 is equal to, and look over here, that's equal to 3, and since a is 5b, I can now write 5b plus b divided by 2 is equal to 3, or 6b divided by 2 is equal to 3, or 3b is equal to 3, or b is equal to 1. And then since a is 5b, I can then say since a is equal to 5b, so a is equal to 5 times 1, or a is equal to 5. So now I have a value for a, I have a value for b, I come back over here and I know that the sine of a minus b divided by 2 times the cosine of a plus b divided by 2 is equal to this. And since a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 1, I can say that I can then write the product, which is equal to this. I can now write it as 1 half the sine of a. And since a is equal to 5, it would be the sine of 5x. And 
minus the sine of b, and since b is equal to 1, it would be the sine of x like that. And so this would then be the equivalent of what I had over there. And that's how we do that. 